Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. So welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about what is grid lines and row and column headings in Excel and how to apply grid lines and row and column headings so that they will be visible when printed. So here we are on Excel and uh, this time we are using a different spreadsheet called Office Budget. We've got three worksheets and we will be working on this 2002 worksheet. Let's have a look at today's questions though. So the question or the questions are what is grid lines and row and column headings so we will understand what they are then it's asking us to apply settings so that grid lines and row and column headings will be visible when printed okay let's have a little chat about this question here which is asking us what is grid lines and row and column headings let's go over to the 2002 worksheet and let's have a look okay on excel we always have grid lines and the grid lines are simply all these gray lines that you see on this worksheet all these gray lines these little boxes which make up each cell we call these lines grid lines and the row and column headings are basically referred to these headings here at the top so you can see column a or the a b c d e these are referred to as the column headings then you've got this number here on the left hand side going one two three four all the way down we refer to them as row headings so these are column and row headings or you can say rows and column headings however you want and these gray lines here we refer to them as grid lines now if i was to print this off I'm going to just do a quick print preview and let's see what what is visible by default on Excel so this is a preview of this worksheet 2002 I'm just gonna zoom in make it a little bit bigger for you to see so you can see here on this printout that by default my rows and my column headings does not print and the grid lines which I referred to as the gray lines does not also print so if we go back to the question the question is asking us to apply the settings so that the grid lines and the row and column headings will be visible when printed so this is the task for today we want these um, row and column headings and the grid lines to be printed now there are a few ways that you can do this i'm going to show you a couple of ways first of all use in the ribbon using this page layout tab if you were to click on this on this tab and then open this group this group in my opinion is actually a very important group because there is a lot of settings that you can apply to set up the page hence the name of the group is called page setup I'm going to ask you to open this group by clicking on the group launcher here in the corner and once you have done that you are given a window with the title page setup because this is the group we have opened that's it this is why you always get the same title on the window that opens up however you have four tabs that's available to you in this group with many settings if you go to the sheet tab here and then under print which makes a lot of sense because when we print this off we want certain things to be visible now under print you've got a few options one of them is grid lines so if i tick this box um, grid lines should be printed now and if i also tick this box here that says row on column headings 
this will also be printed which is remember referring to the letters at the top which is representing the column headings and the numbers here on the left hand side going all the way down is representing the row headings so these should also be printed on our on our sheet now so if i take you straight to print preview and let's test this out Okay, there we are, we're on the print preview, and this time we've got the row and column headings. You can see the numbers going down, which are the row headings, and the column headings going across, which is the column headings, and you've also got these lines now, which is referred to as the grid lines. So, job done really, we've got what we wanted. Just take you back here on our, back on our 2002 worksheet. And the other way that I'd mentioned um, you can do this or you can apply this is simply instead of opening any groups in this group here which says sheet options you can simply tick can you see here you've got grid lines and you've got headings so if you were to tick so if I take this off this is what I would have had initially and by default like I said Excel would not print the grid lines nor the column uh, the row and the column headings but if I were to tick the print for grid lines and the print for the headings it does exactly the same as what I just demonstrated to you so this is a slightly quicker way so once you've understood how to apply this, by all means, you can just tick, tick these two little boxes and it will apply the setting. However, when you're learning from the beginning, please do open this group because it gives you a better sense of understanding, i.e. it's got a little bit more information, got the word print there, it's showing you, you know, what you're printing and is giving you the full name of the row and column headings rather than just the word heading as it has just up here so both ways are absolutely fine and this is how you apply settings to display row and column headings and the grid lines on your printout and thus this brings us to the end of today's lesson so please make sure you like and share this lesson it does help me out quite a lot and subscribe to our channel if you have not done so and i shall see you over in the next lesson so please take care and i shall see you then goodbye for now